Hey, it's Luke and welcome to Savoring Spirits, a show where we discover, learn, and taste spirits from around the world. Then we give them a score of 10 because we're looking for the best. Now we're down in the bunker, the whiskey bunker, here at Whiskey Run Golf Club. And we've got with us today the 10 Cup American Whiskey. Now if you know golf, you know 10 Cup, they are synonymous, almost like chocolate and peanut butter. They go together, so if you know anything about the movie 10 Cup, Kevin Costner, you haven't seen it, watch it. Fantastic movie, golf movie, and it's good. I know, a lot of them aren't. This one's good. Watch 10 Cup, older movie, but fantastic. So I had to grab this bottle of whiskey for the review. Now this was done in honor of the first whiskey drinkers in Colorado, so it's got the 10 Cup on top, so it has nothing to do with the movie. Sigh. But... <laughs> Probably, get a, <laughs> probably could have got extra points. But, so we've got uh, the Tin Cup Colorado American Whiskey. Funny story, it's actually made in Indiana, but they take water from the Rocky Mountains to add to it. Okay, so it's not actually made in Colorado, it's made in Indiana. But anyways, I'm excited to try this. Tin Cup, great name. As always, what do we do? We, first, we pour a little bit, just a tiny bit of this whiskey into our official Whiskey Run Golf Club whiskey tasting glass. We smell, we taste, and then we look for the finish, the aftertaste, and really figure it out. <laughs> I come to a conclusion and give our score out of 10 for this whiskey. Now it's a brand new bottle. It's got the whiskey glass on top, glass I guess, the tin cup on top. It's a brand new bottle. I don't know if I'm going to... Does it just, oh, it just peels right off. Okay. All right. Um, I guess I hand bomb the top of it. It looks like it's got a cork, so it could have some bop. Now my favorite part is the pop. So will this have a good pop? Nothing better than when you first pull the cork out of the bottle. Nice whiskey and ah, love it. So that didn't do it. But we got a glass, just in case you don't have a glass, they provide you with one. A nice tin cup one. Tin cup. Okay, we're going to open this bad boy up. Get to it. Okay. See, brand new bottle. Even got the little tag. Tin cup. Let's put this over here. Uh, looks like I'll be able to get it off. Okay. So let's see what kind of pop this has got. Okay. Light on the pop. No big deal, okay, no big deal. So, tin cup, American whiskey. Let's pour a little bit into our official Whiskey Run Golf Club whiskey tasting glass. Nice little bottle too, like that, a little bit different. Okay, now we're gonna smell. We're gonna take, look for the aromas. Take a few smells, a few sniffs. What are you getting? A little vanilla, there must be some rye in there. Must be a little bit of rye. You can smell the rye. The rye has like a distinctive sort of smell to it, rye spice. And it has a taste, so it should come through if there is in there. But yeah, just a little vanilla and some rye. Not, not really pulling like any of the wood or oakiness that you get from like bourbons and stuff. So, okay, we'll, we'll taste. Yeah, lighter, a lighter whiskey. It's decent. Can get a bit of the burn going down. Not, uh, not fantastic, but it's not bad. Hmm. Yeah, there's got to be a little bit of rye in there. I can feel it. I can feel that rye. Some corn. A little bit of sweetness, probably with the corn. It's gotta be corn, rye, something else. But, not bad, how's it finish? It's light, it's lighter whiskey, but it doesn't, it doesn't really, it doesn't really have more of a, well I guess because it's lighter, it doesn't really have more of the punch that I'm looking for. Even with the lighter whiskey, you get some of the rye in there, you get a little bit of spice, and it's nice because it doesn't have to like, smash you in the face, but it, has to give you a little bit of like, oh, that's nice. Hmm, maybe it warms you up. Yeah, try one more time. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's this is a. I mean, it's a good whiskey. It's it's not um, not fantastic. It's uh, tastes nice. It's a good finish. Really easy. Um, what I drink it on the regular, probably not. But I wouldn't be upset if I did get some of this. So, and I forgot one of the most important parts. So this is this bottle, and it's it's cheap bottle. Comparatively, $39.95, 42% alcohol, 750 mils. So at that price point, it's actually, it's not bad. It's not a bad, it's a good price. I think I'm gonna have to give this a score out of 10. It's gonna be the Tin Cup. Oh, I love the name, Tin Cup. Love it. Um, if Kevin Costner was pumping this, might get a better score, only if he sent me something signed, obviously. Uh, <laughs> what are we going to give this? It's not in the eights. It's not in the sixes. I think it's in the low sevens. It is a 7.1, 7.1 for the tin cup, Colorado American whiskey. Not bad. Appreciate the tin cup, tin cup. <laughs> so 7.1, there you have it. And as always, may we be who our dogs think we are. Cheers. Nice. Cool little tin cup they give you here. Made with pure Rocky Mountain water.